TV5 News Scene Special Unit has learned that the FBI and a United States Senate subcommittee are investigating an elaborate hoax in which a major narcotics figure imprisoned here in Atlanta was duped out of at least $100,000. Investigators have been told that as part of the scheme, Atlanta lawyer Stanley Galkin arranged for someone to visit the Atlanta federal prison while masquerading as a high-ranking government official. Here's TV5's Richard Belcher. The central figures in the investigation are Atlanta lawyer Stanley Galkin and convicted narcotic smuggler Leslie Ike Atkinson. Atkinson was housed at the federal penitentiary here when the hoax is believed to have taken place, either in March or April of last year. Investigators from both the FBI and the Senate Investigations Subcommittee have been told that Galkin promised Atkinson he could deliver the smuggler's freedom in exchange for a huge sum of cash. Atkinson hesitated, so Galkin offered to prove his influence with the Carter administration by bringing to the prison the Associate Attorney General of the United States. The real Associate Attorney General was and is former Atlanta lawyer Michael J. Egan, but he had never heard of Stanley Galkin. Galkin knew that, but Leslie Atkinson did not. On the appointed day, a man believed to have been a close Galkin associate arrived at the prison, and the masquerade began. The imposter walked into the prison entrance, flashed a set of credentials, and signed the visitor's register as Michael J. Egan, United States Justice Department. The meeting was brief, but apparently impressive. The heroin dealer believed his freedom was imminent. A down payment of $100,000 was authorized, though some sources say the loss to Atkinson may have run as high as eight to ten times that amount. After the incident, Galkin reportedly expressed the fear that Atkinson would have him killed, but Stanley Galkin stayed alive while Leslie Atkinson stayed in prison. An FBI official in Atlanta has confirmed the Bureau's investigation and its interest in Stanley Galkin, but the FBI would not identify Galkin's associate, the masquerader who took part in the Ike Atkinson hoax. Associate Attorney General Egan acknowledged that he is aware of the FBI investigation of the hoax, but he did not elaborate. The FBI has been investigating the case for several months now, but it has not been referred for criminal prosecution. If that is done, the charge would apparently be impersonation of a federal official. Even if there are no criminal charges, both the FBI and the Senate Investigation Subcommittee are known to be aware of other serious allegations relating to the Galkin-Atkinson relationship, and especially to Stanley Galkin alone. For the New Scene Special Unit, this is Richard Belcher.